The leader of the Respect Party has defended her decision not to take part in a standing ovation for a Royal Marine awarded the George Cross for bravery in Afghanistan. Lance Corporal Matt Croucher was visiting a meeting of Birmingham City Council where Salma Yaqub and a fellow councillor refused to rise to their feet and applaud, saying the reception was a display of false patriotism. Julie Knox has more. Respect, or is it? She's the party leader, but has angered many by her refusal to welcome a respected soldier in the same way as her fellow councillors. Salma Yaqub and her party colleague Mohammed Ishtiak's refusal to participate in the standing ovation has been seen as a snub to Lance Corporal Matthew Kreutzer. He threw himself on a Taliban grenade so that his colleagues would be saved the force of the blast. He was decorated for conspicuous courage. It just brought him in. Um, it was not on the agenda, so this was not a commemoration ceremony. And when they stood up and applauded, I did not want to be associated with the very politicians who used the bravery of people like Matt Croucher, almost as a human shield, to deflect from the fact they're not doing their job and their moral duty of questioning the premise of sending our brave men and women into these danger zones. Ms Yacoub, who heads Birmingham's Stop the War Coalition, says her council opponents are stirring the issue up to make political capital and they should leave her religion out of it. It's a sad fact that if I do anything as an elected representative of all the people in Sparkbrook, not the Muslim community, that it's somehow seen as a reflection of all the Muslim community. There were some Muslim councillors who did stand up. They have a different political point of view, as is their right. Matthew Croucher was at the meeting to discuss a housing project for injured personnel. He's told newspapers it's naive to protest against individuals who've been at the sharp end of the fight. He was unavailable for further comment today. Julie Knox, Forces News. Well, this story has got some of you talking on our Facebook page this afternoon. I'll just read a few comments out. Linda has said, this politician clearly has strong views about the Afghan war, but this was not the forum to be demonstrating these views. Well done, Royal. You are a true hero. And Kate says, as a mother of three soldiers, I'm totally disgusted by it all. Fight for queen and country. Remember. Um, and you can get involved in the discussion on our Facebook page by becoming a fan. Just search for British Forces News or follow the link from our website.